No, that's over. may well ensure our future. But it's not all ancient history. And tell me, have you all heard of the legend of Luke Skywalker? Yes. yes. Of course. Yes. Well, we hear that there is another, a new Jedi. Have you heard her name? Ray. 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 Yes. Ray. Yes. And what she is leading is the spark of hope that we've been waiting for. And that's why you're all here, right? No. To look ahead towards the future? Well, and to preserve our past by building one of these, right? Mm. A lightsaber. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Magic is fake. <laughs> A lightsaber has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes and darkest enemies. It's elegant and enigmatic. To build a lightsaber is truly an art. The saber is a reflection of its builder, but the force flowing between them. And today, you will feel that connection. But not if I keep talking, so. <laughs> we begin with perhaps the most important element of a lightsaber. Hyper crystal. Able to focus the energy of the force, to magnify it. Some call the kyber crystal the heart of a lightsaber. Now, as you may know, the color of the crystal determines the color of the lightsaber's blade. Take, for example, the blue crystal, like the one wielded by Master Obi-Wan Kenobi and his apprentice, Anakin Skywalker, and of course, Rey. Green, Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tana, Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. Violet, rare, and beautiful, like the one wielded by Mace Windu, Red, it has been called the color of power. This is the crystal of Darth Maul, Asajj Ventress, Darth Vader, and now Kylo Ren. But these are the stories of the past, and we are here for you, our future. So, in a moment, you will select your Kyber crystal, the heart of your lightsaber. Now, if you would for me, please close your eyes and picture it in your mind, your crystal. Which color is it? Which color calls to you? Now with your heart and with your mind, open your eyes and confidently choose your crystal, but remember it may be just as likely that the crystal could be choosing you.
excellent selections, my friends. Now, if you would please place those crystals on the green crystal holders in front of you, as it is now time to join your crystals with the saber designs that you have selected. Now, we begin by building a cult. This is the foundation of your life. Your center of control is the part that keeps your hands from being disintegrated. So it's very important. The gatherers are placing boxes in front of you, and these boxes contain the various lightsaber components that you all have selected. I can see you all admiring them now, itching to get started, so let's take a closer look. Inside, from left to right, you'll find the chassis. Grips, emitters, pommel caps, and activation plates. Building a lightsaber is a personal journey, and just as you have chosen your crystals, you will now select each part to make up your own unique lightsaber. The gatherers are here to guide you on this path. Should you need their assistance, they will be happy to help. So now, builders, are you ready? Yeah. Yes. 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 Well then, let's build. All right. All right we're going to start with that chassis. You want to hold up in the lines for us? Just like this. Like the sharp ends are on top. Back there. 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 Back
That's the work over here. Thank you. Now, this is perhaps a, a Sith inspired design. Yep. Is there a reason for that? Is perhaps a Sith you admire or their ideology? No, not admire them. I like the way they look. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> you know, say what you will about the Sith, but their design aesthetic is impeccable. Right. Beautiful. Stunning design. I love the red highlights. Very nice. You've even gotten it to line up there. Right. Very good. Excellent. And what's your fiber crystal inside? It's the red. A red fiber crystal. The full suite. It's pretty excellent work. Very nice. Now, this is also a beautiful design. Um, I will say that these pieces are some of the most ancient that we've scattered. And this text here is so old we don't even know what it means. Perhaps you can read it. No. <laughs> Perhaps one day it will become clear. Yes. Yeah. Beautiful design. And what's your Kyber Blue. A blue Kyber Very nice. Now is there anything else about this design that, that drew to it in particular? Just that it's pretty. It's pretty, yes. The That's like I said, it's important. Very nice. Well, fine work. Excellent job. Mom's being the problem child. Huh? Mom's being the problem child. The question is, yeah, are you satisfied with your bill? Yes. Wonderful. So in a little bit. There we go. I bring, out, I bring them all extra just in case anyone changes. You'll see it afterwards. You'll see this is what This is this is what it is. You'll see this is really great. But they told you not to try. Let's reach out towards them. Just for a moment of connection, reflection, and perhaps you may even feel the force flowing between you. Hello. Excellent. Now that you're acquainted, we've all completed our hilts. Nothing unexpected or traumatic has occurred, because why would it? <laughs> but I do need to ask you all to take a large step back, as this is the most dangerous stage of the process. Stabilizing the crystals for activation. Gathers are coming around to ensure your completed hilt is a crystal stabilization. Now you would step back, as this is actually very dangerous. Wait, 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 wait. That is requires skill and attention, but you're in good hands. Gatherers are the best in the business. Perhaps the only in the business nowadays. Because even one stacked hyper crystal ore and inverted emitter matrix, well, that could result in an explosion. We have enough holes in our ceiling as it is. Uh, what's that? Much skill have you shown. Chosen for yourself. You have. Now, join. You will be. It is time. Master Yoda. It is indeed time to take that next step. We have reached the final stage. The bond between Builder and Saber is about to be forged. In a moment, I will ask you to step forward, to place your hand over your hilt, and then on my signal, we will all activate together. So Builders, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Well then step forward. Place your hand over your hilt and activate. Pull has red. I honestly love it. has red. Builders, raise your lightsabers high into the air. Proudly, for you have built a lightsaber like the Jedi and Sith who came before you. And like them, you too could change the galaxy. Remember, it only takes a spark. Now, builders, please deactivate and lower. Well done, excellent work. Ah, complete your lightsaber is. Now, your destiny you see, your own path. And the force be with you. Thank you, Master Yoda. Now, in your hands, you hold remarkable power. And remarkable power should not be dropped onto the ground. <laughs> so, we are pleased to present you with a saber sheet to protect your new creation. And in a moment, I will dismiss you to collect your sheet and celebrate your achievement. Now, this does mean that our time is coming to an end. But your journey is just beginning. It's time to make your mark on the galaxy. Remember, you are as unique and as extraordinary as the lightship that you have built. And who knows, next time, we may even be sharing your story. So, builders, Raise your lightsabers high into the air once more. And 
Activate! Kill the Spire! Kill the Spire! My young friend, you're going to be the first to leave Yeah, I see it. We'll check it out. BB-8, what do you got? 
There appear to be a number of small craft heading our way. Raise the shields. We got a company. First on our TIE fighters. Bring her out. Bring her out. Right to the roof. We got a clear path for transport to make the jump.
pay the resistance prisoners. You have what I want. You know the location of the secret base, and I will take it from you. We'll need it on the bridge. Keep the prisoners here. I will return to finish this personally. inside the transport and supervise your children. <laughs> Tell them it's a prisoner transfer. <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> Good. Now get a move on. There's a clear path to the turbo lifts at the end of the hallway. Turn right. <laughs> You're lucky it didn't spot you. Take those turbo lifts and stay out of trouble.
off target. Ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. I did not know about the drop. Nice job, recruits. Not what you signed on for, but hey, you resistance now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. I know. Scaffold's party. Hey. Good. Beck. Yeah. Beck. In our defense, free, I think my heart stopped when we dropped. Great job, recruits. I did too. The location of the resistance base is secure. Bravo! SR5, you too. Oh, there's Chewie. Chewie's behind y'all. suspicious. Disney Day Part 2, um, well, Disney Day 2, Part 1. Um, so the first part we went bright and early, we went to Galaxy's Edge, we had a reservation to do lightsabers, as you guys saw. Um, that's my second lightsaber. Um, I have the, not the nature one, and then I did the Jedi Temple, as you guys got to see, and I love that experience. It's so pretty, and it just feels really nice. I like I'm not a huge Star Wars fan. I like Star Wars. I'm not a die-hard fan. But it's really cool if you have the money that you can spare. It's really fun to do and you get a cool lightsaber. I love the lightsabers. Um I got a second one so that when um I get a chance I can put them up in my dining room and use them as accessories. Um you know, do different colors cuz I have all the crystal colors. Um for the holidays and everything like that. I also, as you guys can see, I was decked out in my Mandalorian gear. I bought those off of Etsy and um, had the sweatshirt and the leggings, so I was all decked out. And then I, of course, had Bean. Oh, let me, let me get Bean. So I took Bean with me hoping to get reactions, and we did. They were great. Um, so for people that don't know uh, about Bean, I made Bean. I took him from the Mattel um, box and made him. 
um, I sewed his body and then put his hands on, put his head in, um, and all that. And I actually made this armor. I used foam, cut it out with my Cricut, and painted a metallic paint. It even has a little, little mug horn, um, and everything. And I made this is a onesie, and then I made this out of fabric, this little cape out of fabric. So he got to go with, and um, people had a very interesting reaction. So I think all the rea the character reactions were pretty great. Um, most people like didn't know how to deal with him. I think because it's a little weird seeing it, especially if you you know they don't make him like a full body. Um, <laughs> people kept joking that like the actors you saw with like um, Rise of Resistance, they kept joking and everything like that. Everyone. And all the kids loved him, like they were just staring. But all the adults loved his boots, okay? I was very disappointed because I spent a long time, you know, making him, making the outfit, everything. And all the adults cared about were his boots. I bought his boots at Walmart for like 10 bucks. So, <laughs> but yeah, it was, yeah. Um, but we, so we made the lightsabers, that was always a fun experience, and then we went, because we got to go in just a few minutes early because of the reservation, we went to, next thing we went to was Rise of Resistance, um, Rise of Resistance is a great ride, I actually, if you, when you guys watch the video, see I have a front cruiser view, a back cruiser view, and then the ride, um, those are actually old videos from when I went previously back in January of 2020, so that's why no one's wearing a mask or anything like that. Um, before COVID, but my videos that I recorded because I didn't realize that my tripod was so shaky, like I've never seen that. It was so shaky that I just decided to use those videos since they were better and give you guys kind of a thing because um, I wanted to show you guys like the they have windows on the cruiser and you have a back, like you can look out the back and watch everything going on. Then you have the front and everything. I want to show those and then. Um, I just used the same view I took on, that was actually my phone from when I went in January 20 of 20, uh, January 2020, um, because it was the same ride I took, so there's a couple of different tracks apparently, um, I know there's at least two, but I've always taken apparently the same track, so it was the same thing for me as it was the other times, so I didn't think it was bad, and it was a better video, it wasn't as shaky, um, and I wanted that for you guys to be able to see the ride, it's really cool, it's really immersive, you feel like you're you, you walked into the movie um so that was really cool and then we didn't do the um smugglers run because my mother has motion sickness and i think my grandmother has motion sickness and my grandfather is not a ride person so we just didn't do it and we didn't build a droid because i have a droid from when i went in january of 2020 and my dad has a droid from when he went in january of 2020 um, on a different thing, so there was no need, um, but yeah, it was a lot of fun, especially having people's reaction to Bean and the lightsaber and everything, it was a lot of fun, it was a lot more fun than my last experience where, like, people talk to you and everything, but it wasn't, like, they didn't interact with you as much, I think because it was so busy back then, um, and we got there early in the morning. Like, um, as you guys could see, we got to go in there early, so then we even got to go in early to the area, and it was clear. Like, the last time I went, there were so many people. It was just jam-packed. So that was really cool to go in when it was less crowded and you could see everything. Um, but definitely cool, definitely. If you get the chance to go, I don't know how the one out in Disneyland is, but I've heard it's the same thing. Definitely go. Definitely go for Rise of Resistance. Rise of Resistance is worth the wait. So definitely do those. Um, but I will see you guys in Disney uh, Day 2 Part 2.